Welcome to this first uh, chapter and first uh, trial at making a Twitch integration or overall uh, online integration to a choice-based game. We are going to make this as um, generic as possible. So we have a first black box. I'm talking about the black box because it's interesting to not know what it's going to be. Because it's going to be the Twitch API or maybe a Discord server or maybe a custom-made multiplayer mode, or anything, IRC integration, Microsoft Teams. In programming, I consider that whenever you don't exactly know what something is going to be, but they are all going to need to do the exact same thing, it is going to be an interface. Now we have a second black box, which is our game, the game choice. The game with choices. The game with choices currently already has an, inter has an interface that exists and that is the player and their controller. Currently, what we have is the player and the controller control the game with choices. What we want to do, very obviously, is either have this element control the player and the controller but honestly, I don't think that would be too interesting. What we need is to somehow go from here to here. The controller is directly the Twitch API. So, from base concept. First, a choice. A request or choice to make. A callback or system that allows to get the results. A callback that tells when when the poll let's talk about the poll okay when the poll is over okay so first of all just to be sure we have everything we are going to have a request manager this is what the game is going to tell i want to ask something and this is where the interface is going to register itself now, of course, we are going to need one class, one master class, which is going to be a request. A request is one, the question, two, the answers, three, the results of the poll. So the interface has to be capable of start a question, listen to answers, stop a question something can stop anything can stop a question mm, let's add a callback callback when question is finished let's resume we have our game that is cap that is already capable of making a choice you can ask the player to make a choice what we are going to need to do is to replace this to this and the manager is going to ask, we can make a debugger interface here. Simulate a chat, a chaotic chat. Let's summarize. We are going, ne going to need an interface I pull pullable. The part that knows how to talk to the audience. Now start to listen to the audience. We are going to need a request manager. That's a class. It's the part that knows who listens to the audience and that can take requests. And finally, we have a class or maybe even a struct request. The part that explains what needs to be asked to the audience. First, we need an interface I pullable. Second, we are going to need a request manager. We're going to start with that, actually. That's the part that will make the most sense. And finally, and at the same time, the request class. So, uh, I suggest this is the end of uh, part one of the first video. And I should make uh, part two of the second video uh, pretty soon. Very soon, actually, because uh, on stream, I'm actually going to keep going.